welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Paper and Moose. Two things. First, the setting is again a little bit different. I am again away for work, but that does not stop the channel. That does not stop making videos. And two, allergies have gotten the best of me. Um, today was pretty much unbearable. A lot of sneezing. I just wanted to crawl into bed. So sorry for the voice. Sorry for the stuffy nose. Hopefully, you know, I got some, um, you know, some stuff to take. Hopefully that helps. But so yeah, different setting, but same channel. Today is a little bit different. I actually have a package from Larry in Chatham, Ontario, Canada. I opened up some of it. I took a brief view into the inside before I came here for um, this conference that I'm at. And I was so excited and I thought, oh no, I have to open this and, and make a video of it because I think that it'll be worth it. Are you ready? It looks like it's ephemera, some great ephemera. This is the first time that I'm opening this and looking through everything. So the reaction that I'm giving is going to be probably a lot of, oh my gosh, oh look at this, oh wow. So prepare yourself. Let's go. Now I'm pretty sure, oh, oh geez. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look how awesome this is. Larry actually, I forget what video it was, but he wrote on one of my videos, he left a comment that he was at, I believe it was an auction or an estate sale. I think it was an auction where it was someone that had collected all this Heinz stuff and no one really wanted it. So he bought pretty much everything. And I said, oh, that would be so neat. He said he had labels, all sorts of stuff. And he was nice enough to send a whole envelope to me. So this is awesome. <laughs> this will look so cool framed. Now I have to find a nice circular frame. That's gonna be another my to-do list at the flea market. I love this. What's this one? Oh, another one. Look how cool. They don't, they just don't make these like they used to. I love them. We have some postcards. Oh, this is a whole mixture of stuff. Um, the world's only corn palace, Mitchell, South Dakota. Brooklyn subway, New York City. I've never been to Brooklyn. I'm actually going to um, the Statue of Liberty this weekend. And some old photos. Look how lovely, oh my goodness. Look at this little guy, chic. That's awesome. I like that. I've never, it's like a frame. That's really cool. Oh, look at these. Man, there's a whole bunch of photos. Harry thought it was all, oh, look at him. He looks serious. Look how lovely. Look at their hair. Oh, here's two of the same guy. Oshana and Whitby, Stedham and O'Brien. These aren't labeled on the back, but we have twins. A set of twins. Look at his bow tie, his mustache, his hair. These, I bet you, maybe not. I was going to say, this is from Detroit. I'm just a photographer. This one's Ontario. I thought maybe they were sister. I mean, they were like sisters. And one was younger, one was older photos, but they're different locations. Heinz Plum Pudding, the real dessert of the winter season. Oh, and there, look at that. Christmas, Heinz Christmas Plum Pudding made from sultanas, currants, I love currant, currant juice in England, uh, the Rabina, so good, suet, sugar, breadcrumbs, oh my, eggs, milk, orange marmalade, flour, mixed peel, black treacle, golden syrup, caramel, salt, spices, rum, and seasonings. Processed in England under official supervision, H.J. Heinz Company. This can go on my Christmas decor. This is a plum pudding. 
Fortunately, there's no need for the modern housewife to depend on her own efforts for this perfect dessert. Heinz plum pudding is made of the very finest ingredients. It is uniformly light and delicious and always ready to heat and serve on a moment's notice. I'm not sure that they make this anymore. Here look at the back. Look at these graphics. How can you beat them? So cool. A whole bunch of photos. Look at her. I'm guessing it's a hat. If that's her hair. Whew. Let's see what else. I'll close my eyes and I'll just dig in. What's this? Spicing up the Heinz 57 racing team. I do vaguely remember this. 1990. Heinz 57 sauce and barbecue sauce have joined Heinz Ketchup in 1990 as sponsors of the second year team fielded by Osterlund Motor Ventures. Heinz Ketchup. I do prefer Heinz Ketchup over, uh, what's that other one that's not too good? The other, Hunts, Hunts. I'm not a fan of Hunts. Sorry, Hunts, if you're watching. Oh my goodness, look at these. Look at this, they have, they have a hammer and this other guy has a wrench. Dad at 17, it says on the back. This is from Bristol. Instantaneous, instantaneous portraits of children, the graphic house in Bristol. But look at that, if I can get a close up, oh geez. That's really cool. I've never, ooh. Anar Hassan, I don't know who that is. That's interesting. It's German on the back. That's in, that's interesting. Oh, look at all these ladies. These are lovely. Photo by Lafayette. A queen of beauty is this one. That's a queen of beauty. Look at her hair. Oh, this one's stamped on the back. Leon Fesch. Rue d'Artois. I'm not even going to do that. Miss Nellie Valentine, the Old Hall, Somerton, Somerset. Huh. I mean, there's a Somerset, New Jersey, but I don't think that's that. What a nice name. Nellie Valentine. Imagine if your last name was Valentine. Look at her hair. Minnie Palmer. So I'm guessing that these are maybe actresses, dancers. Marie stood home. Maybe, um, oh, this one's written on the back. Okay. Dear cousin, how do you like your visit? I was to the doctor the other day, and he says if I am myself again, by next spring, I'm doing well. If I am myself again, by next spring. Ma got the paper for the hall. How is Aunt Mary keeping? Well, next spring, if she's doing well, what's going to happen? Miss Arthur... This is Arthur Esplin, Ontario. Look at her hat, Miss Edna May. So many thanks for your letter and card. Please go gleaming again and tell me the result. Miss M. Valentine, the Old Hall, Somerton, Somerset. Miss Edna May. So these are all, it looks like to address this Nellie Valentine. Look at him, Raymond Navarro. Look at that profile. Now these, I'm sure they're probably actors, actresses. Ooh, look at her. Arthur and Mills Comedy Companies, Miss Edith Blanchard. Interesting. Another project for me to look up. All right, let's see what else we have in here. Oh. Macaroni tomato casserole ready to bake. Can you imagine like, I mean, hoarding is an epidemic here in the United States, I guess if you want to call it an epidemic, but honestly, because of some hoarders and hoarding, we still have stuff like this. Because a lot of people, if they would go into a house and see someone collected Heinz macaroni tomato casserole boxes from, you know, I don't know what year this is, they'd be like, you got to throw this away. This is junk. But I think we owe it to some hoarders that we still have this kind of stuff or we'll call them collectors though some might oh my gosh some might branch out but honestly if, if you think of homes that 
are from collectors and they're just filled with stuff. It's because of them that we have these things. Heinz beans with pork and tomato sauce. Oh, recipe book. I prefer Bush's baked beans, but you know. Blanche Gap is the name of the lady that owned this. Tomato bean dressing, cheesy bean rare bit. Hmm. Look at this one. Say cheese. Heinz cheese soup. I'm not sure I've ever heard of that. Or I've ever seen that. Shrimp cheese chowder. Ooh. Rice stuffed peppers. Who doesn't love a good stuffed pepper? Look at that. Look at the background. There's like asparagus, cauliflower, and like a big bowl of cheese. Food. Oh, Heinz even put out a calorie chart. And this is all Heinz of Canada. Interesting. Oh, look at this postcard. Heinz Vinegar Plant, Hilton, New York. How do you get along these warm days? If any of you are from Hilton, New York, does this, do you know what happened to this area, with this building? Are there any remnants yet? That'd be neat to look up, a vinegar plant. Never would have thought of that. Folks in Georgia. Man, Larry, you sent me a whole bunch of different things. Cave Rock. These are all sorts of postcards from all different areas in the United States. Lookout Mountain, as seen from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Halls Gap, Kentucky. I have been to Kentucky. Lake City, Florida, Veterans Administration Hospital. It'd be interesting to know if they still are around. And look at this. I wouldn't leave my little wooden hut for you. What? And Bailey, for you? I don't really get that. I wonder if this is a hole to light. No. Hmm. I wouldn't leave my little wooden hut for you. Oh, I guess he doesn't care about his ex-wife or his, his wife now that he's dead. Sometimes, oh, there's, I, didn't, I miss these. Christmas, Merchandise Mart, Chicago. We have some Blue Angels over the beach. New York City. What's this one? Calico Saloon in Ghost Town, California. They look like they're having a grand time. <clears throat> More New York City. Oh, here's a train one. GWR La France de la Glen Compound Locomotive. This is postmarked 19. I can't read it. Pines Pier, Atlantic City, New Jersey. I'm not sure. It's been. A good many years since I've been to Atlantic City, so I'm not sure if the pier that they have there is still named Heinz Pier. Atlantic City used to be the the place. Heinz Company Administration Building in Pittsburgh. Heinz Company Complex, 1906. Pretty cool. I'll look at this ad. The street where we live, souvenir of Canada's sun parlor, home of Heinz in Canada. And she's out there picking tomatoes. Oh, this is a neat little booklet. Oh my gosh. The famous Heinz family of 57 varieties. So if you ever wanted to know all the 57 varieties of Heinz, this little booklet will tell you. So neat. Can you imagine like collecting Heinz stuff for, I mean, everyone collects something. Ooh. Heinz celebrates 75 years. You know, companies back then, even the companies that my, my family members have worked for, they always put up bulletins. I do find a lot of company bulletins and, and newspapers, and I don't even know if companies, I guess, I guess they do, but a lot of it is all electronic. You know, they'll send out an email. They don't really make a booklet anymore. Some do, some don't. I think with everything going digital, they're less inclined. I guess mustaches run in the, in the Heinz family. Look at their mustaches. Oh, 
But this is a great way, you know, if you have a family member that worked for Heinz, you're going to want these, these articles and these brochures and these magazines that they put out because your family members might be here you know, and, and might tell a history of the people in your family who worked for these companies. And that's why these are, you know, I don't want to say maybe so collectible, but you know, listing them online or, or trying to sell them, people would buy these because if they know that their family member lived in a certain part of Canada and worked for Heinz, maybe they'd be in here. Oh, look at these. I'm not sure. You might not be able to see it because of the light. Maybe I can hold it. Um, let's try this. So it is like a photo still. That one's of Heinz being poured on hot dogs, I think. Claire, you might not be able to see it. And this is Heinz being poured on. Now, I'm a, I put ketchup on my eggs, I will admit it. This one looks like they're putting on the bacon. I'm not quite sure about that. But I do put ketchup on my eggs and my macaroni and cheese. These are neat. Associated photographers. So these are like plant, oh, look at that one. Plant photos. This looks like maybe they're washing tomatoes, maybe. This is an aerial view of the plant. Let's see what else. This one is nice. Are they bottles? Cream of cans? Cream of tomato soup. And they're the ladies. Uh, this is imprinted H. A. Dunn, Leamington on Leamington, sorry, Ontario. Can piling by hand, 1937. Can you see that? They're, they're standing on like a ladder, and then they're piling the cans by hand. And then down here is essentially the manufacturing line. You know, I doubt that they do this today, but. Amazing. Even the machinery back then. Oh, old, old autos. Oh, there's a flea market. This one says. Ancaster 1991 flea market. Auto parts and accessories. I think we missed that a little bit. Let's see. Oh, more stills. So this is another one. Again, bacon, sausage. See? This just proves that a um eggs do get ketchup on top how to iron on your t-shirt transfer oh i wish we've got you picked heinz in the pickle i doubt this would still work because if it did i would love that i wouldn't want to try it though because i'd be afraid it would be ruined but that's pretty neat i do have a heinz pickle pin that i got from Atlantic city boardwalk they had a museum i don't know if they still do where they would sell the, the Heinz pickle pin. So I got one. Oh my gosh. I got one from there. Look at these. A whole bag of labels. Heinz tomato ketchup. This is in French. 1988, first commemorative edition. These would be fun to do something with, craft with. Pretty cool. But again, you know, someone Let's, let's save all these labels. I'm sure they had their hookup with Heinz to get all those. Close my eyes and reach. Oh. Heinz soups. So, I'm not quite sure what this contraption is, but there's, you know, they have soup, menestrone. Oh, it's all the different soups that they have. There's that. Heinz, look at this display, the sign of good eating. Oh, so here it is. So that's one of their displays that they have. Maybe it's an opener? That, that's what it is, it's can opener underneath there. But look at that. Their display. Oh my gosh, he's not in that one. But look, there's like a tomato guy right there. He's ready, you know, come to the table, come see what they have to offer. Look at all that, oops. And that just has the name of the photographer on the back. 
and here are some ladies pictured by CRA pictured by restaurant and something magazine and they're by Canada General Electric they're actually set up so this must have been some kind of show and that's where they were at Couple more things. Three more things. Senior photo. Yeah, I yeah, get this is a different kind of senior photo. This is like an actual senior photo. Good for her. Look at that hat. Senior photo. Exeter, Ontario. With our feathers. Two more postcards. Oh, the Corn Palace in South Dakota again. This is to formally announce a new place of residence. Hardy har har. What Hallmark? Who knew that they put out a postcard? It looks like it's probably only 70 cents. There are probably some good treasures in this house at one time. Maybe not so much anymore. But so thank you, Larry. I really appreciate this. You know, you put together, it's, it was a great package, very unexpected. It was so nice of you to send this to me. You know, rest assured that these items are in good hands. I'm gonna find some nice frame to put these in, you know, hang them up in my place. Do some research on the vinegar, fat, the vinegar plant, which I find really interesting. You know, look up these people, see who they were. Again, I'm sure that they are you know, famous or once were famous actors, actresses, dancers. Do some research on them. Figure out a way to use the labels. But you know, this is very unexpected and very, very nice of you. I you know, thank you so much. And it's great to know that you know there are people out there that collect things like these, people that buy those things, and then people that want to share them. And I think in that way, you know, ephemera, because ephemera really is supposed to be fleeting. It's, it's not supposed to stick around. It was meant for one purpose, and that was it. You know, perfect example. This tomato, macaroni tomato casserole box. Was this supposed to have, you know, been put away and kept? No, it's, it's, it's the box for something that you can stick in the, the microwave or the, you know, the oven. And then you throw it away. But someone saved it. And, and that's, that's what's great about ephemera. Is that it wasn't meant to stick around, but it has. Through people that, you know, love paper. They love the history behind the paper. And now we have a little Heinz 57 collection of my own. So thanks again, Larry. I really appreciate it. You know, thank you for watching the channel and thank you for taking the time to put this together for me. It's, it's most appreciated and I love everything. I hope that you all enjoyed, you know, looking through these items with me, seeing the wonderful things that, you know, were a part of someone's collection and now can be a part of my collection. And I hope that this encourages you all you know, to save ephemera and to save paper and really try and figure out the story behind, behind everything because everything does have a story. And you know, that's what I strive to do with this channel. What I want to do more of is to just tell the story and the history behind these items so that they're not lost. So thank you all for watching. Thank you again, Larry. It was really appreciated. I hope that you all have a great night, a great weekend, great weekday whenever you're watching this. Thanks again. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this, more stories behind the paper, flea market, estate sales, auction videos and stories. But thanks again for watching.